Hey guys, this is Henry from OBD again. Today we're going to be learning how to add markers in Studio One. So, why do you need markers and when should you use them? Let's say you're in a situation in which you are recording a song, let's say a guitar part, but you're not the actual player of the song, you're not the actual guitar player of the band, and you're not very sure when you're supposed to play the chorus or the verse, so if you need some kind of visual cue, visual reference that tells you, hey, this part here uh, starting on bar number two is the verse, or this part here starting on bar number three is the chorus, that's going to help you a lot, especially if you're punching in so that you can be playing. And as you see the screen, you can see the playback. And when the playback is approaching that area where the marker says chorus, well, now you know that's a chorus. You're supposed to play the chorus there. So how do you do that? Well, um, on the top left corner of your Studio One screen, uh, there is this little flag icon. If you click on it, it's going to open the marker track. You can see that's your start marker. And if I zoom out, I should see somewhere that's my end marker. So let's say that you want to add a marker on bar number two that says verse. Okay, so if you click there, now your playback is set to two. Where it says marker, you're going to see a plus and a minus sign. If you do the plus sign, it says number two. Now, if you double click on it, you can rename it. Let's type verse one. Okay. Now, let's say mark uh, now on bar four. That's your chorus. So I'm going to click on, on number four. The playback is now there. And then next to marker, I do, I'll click on the plus sign to insert another marker. And let's call it chorus one and let's say that on bar number eight or measure number eight that's a bridge or a solo so i'll click i click there so now my playback is set to bar number eight one more time i do the plus sign it says number four i'll double click it and type solo guitar solo okay so now you have your markers right um, so as I said, if you were recording, um, if you go back and you start play back, um, you're going to see that now I'm on verse one, three, two, three, four, chorus number one, which is the, the, the fourth, starting the fourth measure. And then here comes a guitar solo, so you start playing the guitar solo. So that's why you use markers for, right? It's, it's basically a visual cue, it's a visual reference just for you to know um, where is which part of the song. So that's how you create markers in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.